Nick teaming is the process of combining multiple network cards or network interfaces together for performance and redundancy reasons. Microsoft referred to this as Nick teaming. However, other operating system vendors may call Nick bonding, Nick balancing, or aggregation. On my previous video, I went over how we can create a Nick team. I explained some basic principles as I went over configuration options. Today, I'm going to explain how Nick team interfaces behave on your Windows Server. I have Windows Server 2022 here and let's dive in. We have the Server Manager console open and I'm in the local server section. In here, under properties, we see the Nick team interface, which is this one. I have conveniently named it as to internet underscore team. And if I click on it, it will open up our control panel network connections section. In here, we have to internet underscore team, which is the Nick team interface and we have the associated interfaces right here. If you double click on here, it will open up the property sections of the Nick team interface. And you can see that it has internet access and it is connected and it has six gigabyte per second. And this is because as I mentioned in my previous video, I have six interfaces each at one gigabyte per second and combine six together create six gigabyte per second. If you go to the properties of our Nick team interface, you will notice that in here, we have some familiar options such as the IPv4 version and IPv6 version. And this interface is currently active and it is taking in IPv4 and IPv6 options. You will also notice a new uh, item in here uh, and that would be the Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Protocol. The Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Protocol is basically a service in kernel level that is a driver that actually used for combining these network interfaces into a NIC team. I will explain what it is uh, by showing you the, some configuration options in the next few minutes. But keep in mind, this is what actually create the NIC theming in Windows servers. Now, if I go to my interfaces here that are part of our NIC team, if I go into the properties of any of one of these, you will notice that our IPv4 and IPv6 options are turned off. However, the Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Protocol is turned on. I'll put this side by side uh, with this, uh, the Nick Team options. So here's the Nick Team option, and um, here's the other option. And as you can see on the Nick Team interface, I have the Microsoft, uh, that protocol uh, disabled, but IPv4 and IPv6 enabled. But on the other interfaces, which are part of the NIC team, the Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Protocol is turned on, but the IPv4 and IPv6 is turned off. The reason for this is that none of these network adapters, which is part of our NIC team, is currently actually directly taking any IP addresses. It is not assigning any IP addresses. It's not attaching to any DSCPs, anything like that whether it's IPv4, IPv6, they are both disabled. Like if I go to any of these options, like if I go to, uh, let's say if I go to internet two, and if I go to properties, it's the same thing. It has the Microsoft network adapter multiplexer protocol turned on by the IPv4 and IPv6 is turned off. The reason for that is these network adapters currently function because we have a Nick themed network interface right here. So without this interface right here, these network adapters can't obtain any network information because these network adapters are part of that NIC team. Now, to prove my point, you can also go to your start menu and let's type CMD for command prompt. 
And in here, uh, what I'm going to do, I will type IP config slash all. And you will notice that um, because I have conveniently labeled these things as to internet NIC, uh, team, which is the NIC team one, and the other ones as just, uh, you know, the adapter name to internet two, et cetera, et cetera. You can see the to internet underscore team, which is the NIC teaming interface. We have the IPv4 address, and we also have an IPv6 address associated with that. So it's IPv4 and IPv6 are turned on right here. You can see that right here. But none of the other adapters shows up. So the adapters that are part of the NIC team here is not showing up on the IP config uh, you know, information screen. This is our LAN segment, which is basically another network interface facing a different network. But other than that, in IP config, we only see the main NIC uh, interface. So we don't, uh, NIC themed interface, we don't see any other uh, interfaces here. The reason for that is this IP address, which is the, uh, sorry, no, not that one. This IP address, which is the IPv4 address, and this default gateway, for example, for in terms of IPv4, is associated with our NIC themed interface. And it is a combination of the other interfaces here. And another thing I want to clarify is, I know this is a NIC team interface, even if I don't label as such, is because if you look at the description, it conveniently have the default description as Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Driver. Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Driver is basically the driver associated with this Microsoft Network Multiplexer Protocol. So that is what is actually creating this NIC team. So it is a Microsoft specific protocol. So as I mentioned before, uh, other operating system vendors may call it NIC bonding, balancing, NIC aggregation, etc. But uh, this is what you would see on your Windows server. Another thing I want to highlight here when it's come to the point fundamentals of NIC teaming is that if you go to your NIC uh, team interfaces, and if you go to the properties, you will notice that at the very beginning of my previous video, I had my IPv4 turn on. I had my IPv6 turn on on most of these interfaces. Some of my interfaces had IPv6 turn on, uh, sorry, IPv4 turn on, but not the IPv6 turn on. But when the NIC team interface was created, it automatically remove anything that we don't need here, we don't use here. For example, it turn off the LLDP, it turn off the IPv6, it turn off the link layer, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And it has done that for every single item with every single interface within that NIC team. This is because these are combined using one single protocol that is the Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer protocol. So in other words, it doesn't matter what the configuration of all of your NIC themed uh, interfaces, when it become a part of a NIC team, all of these interfaces are gonna get reconfigured accordingly so that it will work properly with the Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer protocol. So in other words, when your network look at uh, your Windows server, what it sees is a one single interface that uses the Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer driver, and it gives out that uh, IP address from either your DSCP uh, or otherwise. You can actually also assign static IP addresses to your NIC team interface by simply going into your NIC team interface, going into properties, and going into uh, you know either IPv4 or IPv6 and go to properties and you can start changing these things to if you want to change some configurations here. So it's just like another network adapter, uh, but it has multiple network adapters within it. For example, if I want to disable IPv6, I can disable IPv6 on the NIC team interface, not the interfaces associated with the NIC teaming. Don't touch those, just change the configurations on NIC themed interface, for example, IPv6, if I disable it. Now, if I go back to our command prompt and I, I type IP config um, slash all, and you will notice that, you know, IPv6 is no longer there on that the NIC team interface because I have disabled the IPv6. So that's everything for today. I just want to go over the fundamental 
concepts associated with team interfaces because this is something that you could get on your CCNA exams as well as your uh, you know educational you know academic exams uh, especially lab exams if you have any questions or concerns related to anything I covered today you are more than welcome to reach out to me please make sure that you go back and watch my video on how I configure Nick team interface on my Windows Server 2022, which has been previously posted, posted a few days ago. Until next time, please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.